Okay, so we're going to start with some kanji check-in. Do you remember how to read? Oh, that's the wrong color. This guy? Hi, uh, this is my yabu, yabari. Yaburi. The first guess was right. Yaburi, my yaburi. With the first kanji being, um, we talk about this, something under the person under mm. the roof that have the metal the over here metal. it's uh a lock yep bust the lock yep. broke the lock busting the lock he what opened, is lock he busting the rock joe hi hi so joe my yaburi is to bust in the lock the lock picker hi hi and then do, 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 I think that'll be what we'll check. Oh, do. Okay. Do you know how to read this? Koe. Uh, kogoe. Yep, kogoe. What does kogoe mean? A small voice. Perfect. So this is the opposite. How do you read this? Ogoe. Yep, so a loud voice. So we saw this word, I believe. How do you read it? Anasu. How about this one? How do you read this? Hanashi. Perfect. Yep. So Hanashi is like story. Hanasu is a talk. But you can't, if you say Hanashi o suru, um, this is um to have a conversation, basically, to have something to tell you, kind of. Um, this for, I... word ended with goe. What did it start with? Oh. Yep. Oh goe. So let's go read the line from the book. Ko, ko sama kara. Hanashigaru So ageru so, is to raise a voice. To raise your voice. Hai. To to raise your voice. Because it had that o goe. To make it loud. Mm-hmm. So the minions raises his voice and he said, Klo-sama had a conversation for you. Yeah, he has something he wants to talk about with you. Perfect. Mm. Do you remember what this word was? Futari no kaiwa. Kaiwa. Yep, kaiwa. A conversation. So this kai shows up in this verb, which is, um, do you happen to know how it's read? It's kau. Good ka. guess. It's actually au. Read totally different. Au uh, means to meet. To meet. Will meet. Au. au. Hi. So next, we're looking at monka. Monka is like as if, or there's no way. For example, can you read the first sentence for me? Yugure yashiki e dare ga ikumonka. Who's going to go to the um the Twilight Mansion? So this is like who like who the heck is going to go? Like you don't ask you're not actually asking you're making like a statement. Rhetorical question. How about this one? Can you read this guy mm. for me? Ah, uh, he gure no kimi ni aitai Hito. Hito ga iru monka. What do you think that means? The person that would want to meet. Uh, like, is there is there such a person that would want to meet the Lord of Twilight? Perfect and kind of rhetorical. Like, there's no way there's someone that wants to meet him. So right. next, this word sumu means to finish. But it's a little bit, I would almost say, like a positive finish. It means this ends with the minimum amount of casualties. So it ends just with that is uh, what it means. To, to, to finish, me. to end, but just with like the minimal amount of badness. Um, can you read this for me? Higure no kimi to ate. Hanashi. Hanashi dake. De. Tsumumonka. 
So first off, oh, Higure no Kimi to atte. That mean to meet with the Lord of Twilight. Hi. It will sumu. And we say sumu was to finish in a certain kind of way. You know what kind of finishing it is? Sumu. De sumu. De de hanashi dake de. Dake de. Dake. Okay, it's just to finish with a conversation. Is that yes. not only it? Are we just going to talk? There's got to be more to that, right? Basically, so, yes. I translate? So literally saying, as if it's going to finish with just a conversation if I meet with the man of the twilight. Right? So as if it's going to finish just with a conversation when I meet or if I meet with the man of twilight. Does that kind of make sense right. how I got there? So that's the as if. It's gonna finish as if it's gonna finish only with a conversation when I meet basically with the man of Twilight. Hi. So with kind of in that context. Okay. Um this oh yeah, this was a weird ass kanji check right here. So that was the end of this slide. That's why I had that weird ass kanji check. Another paragraph. Woo, paragraph. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, you know what this word is? Ketoba sarete. Yokujitsu. Never any ketoba sarete. Mega sameta. The next day, never ketoba sarete. Ketoba sarete is to cause. Mm -hmm. Ketoba is. To cause me to wake up, but it did cause him cause to wake up, to but in a specific way. He kicked me. So so kitobasare is to kind of kick somebody. Kick out. <laughs> yep. Kitobasare. Kitobasare. So that is keru in there, which is to kick, which is weirdly enough an oob verb. Keru to kick. Um, our next word sune is shin so your shin is um if this was your leg it's in like that lower area and it hurts a lot if you kick there um can you read the uh, sentence for me deshi wa yojinbo no sune o ketta the shin of the bodyguard um the apprentice kick the shin of the bodyguard perfect nice here's our next word hineru which is to wrench out so it's kind of like when you do like a spinning so that you get out of somebody's um who's like holding you for example hineru. Hineru. so how would you say the thief um wrenched out his shoulders and ran off in japanese uh dorobo wa kata hinete nigeta Wrench out the shoulder, so kata o hinete nigeta. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Sorry. Yeah. Um, what's hinete again, Mani? It's to wrench out. Wrench out, yeah. Hine, hine. And then nigeta is to run. Yes. So he wrenched out the shoulder and ran. Yep. Can you read this for me? Furi hodoku. Furihodoku is a shake free from something. For example, can you read this for me? Dorobo, dorobo wa teka no te o furibo hodo ita. Hodo ita. Hodo ita. To break free of. Right. To break free of the hand, right? Whose hand? The thief breaks free the... from what? Thief break free from the minion's hands. Perfect. And here's another new word. Can you read it for me? Guru. Kuguru. Kuguru is to go underneath something. So you can use this, for example, to go through like a tunnel. Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Ore wa mado jitsu no ude no shika o. Shita. Shita o. 
くぐった。Yep. The What does this mean? Go under the arm、yep. of the magician. He passes under. Exactly. He's doing a T pose. So, if I was going to say the magic is disappearing, what do you think I'd do here? Mado o kieteru. Plus, maho, maho ga. Maho. Maho ga kieteru. The yep, magic maho... is disappearing. Yep. And this is basically actually the name of this book. This is Maho ga kiete iku. The magic is disappearing away from us rather than just disappearing in general. Maho ga kiete iku.、Okay. The magic、um, is dissipating away. So, so.、Um, and before you read this, you remember how this guy's read? It read as、um, Aruta. Close. That's Aruku, which is a different verb. Aruku. And the meaning of this verb is similar to Aruku, but a little bit faster. Ah, Hashit. Hashit. Hashita. Nice. So let's go read the line from the book. Ore wa te ka no sune o keri. Kata o hinete. Te o furi hodoku to ude no shita o kugute. Neburi ga kieta. Doa e to hashita. Hi. So let's start with our first clause right here. Ori wa tekka no sune o keri. What does this mean? Ori wa tekka no sune o kuri, keri. Um, and we say the sune was the, the shin. Yep. So I kick the minion's shin and perfect. I, I, he net the he net the okay. So two action first, I he net the the kata, I rung, which mean like I. I twist my shoulder, right? To、yes. run is to twist your shoulder. Yes. Which leads to、But、this who... to happen. Furi hodoku. I would say this is the te, teka's te. So,、mm, te o furi hodoku. I escape from. I,、um, yes, I break, I break away free from... from the hand. And it's basically this happened because I wrenched my shoulder away from him. So I, I kick his shin, wrench my shoulders, and I release myself from his hands. What kind of and is this to telling us? Immediately afterward. Yes. So, keri right here is kind of generic. Te is kind of saying, like, because this happened, this happened. Though, really, these are all pretty related. So, right after I am released, what do I do? Ude no shita o kugute. This is probably the teka's ude. Hi. So I pass under the arm. And. and... Neburi ga kieta doa. E. A nice little relative clause right here describing doa. The door that. The door which Neburi had gone to. Disappeared through, yeah. What did Khan do to it? To、uh, Ashita. I and that door. This to here is not and. This to here is it's just quoting that door. Good idea. So, run to towards it. Is used to kind of modify e to be very kind of like specific with the e. So, you could just say, do e hashita, but to is a little bit more dramatic, basically. But specifically, I run toward the door that nobody disappeared to. So, it's kind of like adding the to the sentence. 
So I'll rather thing, I run through a door, the one which uh never disappeared through. So Toll is just a little bit modifying that eh. But doesn't really change the meaning in any way. Um, do you know what a nakama is? A companion. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um specifically it means like you work with these people you're in, you're in their in group so if you watch a lot of um one piece you might think it's like friendship but not really you could not know somebody and still be their nakama um you could have never talked to them and you can still count as that it just means we have a lot in common and what you have in common can depend on the situation. So um, it's kind of like a it's a way to separate yourself with others. So nakama is people with you, basically. On your side is your nakama. So this could, for example, be like everybody in the LGBTQ community are all nakama. They all might stand on one side to fight for something, basically. Or all your co-workers are your nakama when you're at work because you're all working together for some kind of goal. So the idea is that it's some kind of in-group with multiple people and you're separating yourself from some kind of out-group. Um, in I this see. context, um, they're saying he's the nakama of like um, the minion. So other minions would be the nakama, someone that works with the minion. Hi. Um, you know what sakebu means? Yes. Oh, my. It means to it means to um to share to to yep. to 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 yell, yell, not to yell, yell to shout. but like to shout, to right? Yep. So, so this word ended with ma. What did it start with? Uh naka nakama. Nakama. So let's go read. I'm, I'm just yeah? just curious. Have you ever seen an anime called Lane or serial experiment. I've heard lame. about it, but I never tried it because I was like, I, I, I'm always like worried that I'll, I'll find it boring. <laughs> right. it, it's like hard to hit that like strike with me for um being interesting, but then like that's like I need to have like them wake me up every five minutes. So if there's right. too much action, I'll fall asleep, but if there's no action, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> so like, um. Girls Last Tour and not to be a Jing Show. Perfect. But like Mushi Shi Shi. Um, I tried that once and I fell asleep in like 10 minutes. I see. And everybody's like, watch those shows. <laughs> or for other shows with a lot of action, I fall asleep in them too. Like I fell asleep in Eureka 7's climax. So they were just like bam, 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 action. And I was like, I can't pay attention. <laughs> I need like the split back and forth. And I think seriously, this and like from my what I know about it, I know it's like super good, but I feel like it's like that whole kind of like um I see. Low build up of sci fi and trauma and, and stuff. And, and trauma and storytelling. <laughs> so I haven't uh, tried it, but I assumed I would fall asleep. Well, it's I it's one it. of those animations where it's very um like known. It had a it had this ending music, like a music that ended an, an episode. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. That song yeah. is really good. And that song is called Toe. Toi sake sakebi sakebi to yell from far away. Oh, makes sense. That fits the themes of the show a lot. Yes. So yes, I know that word because nice. of that song. <laughs> the benefit of learning sorry. through many things. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry, random about that. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, so let's go read this line. Um, Higure no kimi no nakama wa nan nanika sake sakenda. Right. And sakenda was uh was was I yelled. Yep. Sakenda. Yep. Sakebu in past tense form. Sakenda. Sakenda. Right. I I yell yell what nanika I yell something. And, Do you yell something? Uh, the nakama. The so, nakama so. of the Higure no Kimi. Yep. So the men of Twilight's yell comrades um, yell something. So comrades are closest word in English. Sounds a little dramatic in English, which uh, I don't think is that dramatic in Japanese. But who knows with One Piece. Um, do you know what yobu means? 
Yobu. Yobu is also to call, right? Yes. To call out your name or to call so, out so. a taxi or something. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what's this word? It starts with naka. Naka ma. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence. Uh. Uh. Te. Te kawa. Nakama o yonda. I. The minion call. His friend. Yep, he calls for his comrades. He calls for his comrade, right? Basically, he's calling for his co-workers, his fellow tekas, is what this would mean in this context. So they right. don't have to be friends. They could hate each other. Right. You could, like, owe this one Nakama 50 bucks. It doesn't matter. Right, right now, they're um underneath the same goal, basically. So to share, to share goals or values is a Nakama. Hi. This this doesn't have a good translation in English, doesn't. but to think of this is this sort of like some people say his people, my people, my folks, exactly. it, my like clan. That. It is. Um, so here I would just a, say his fellow guards his, or whatever. <laughs> his fellow, his, his fellow, his yeah. Fellows. Fellow nakama. Um. Oops. Do you know how this word is? <sighs> Is red. You'll see it in a Ore. second. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oi kakite. What does oi, oi kakite. kakite mean? Do you remember? Ore wa oi kakite. Yeah, the kakite is kind of like to jump on, to, to push, yeah. to, in hot pursuit. Yes. Oi kakite is to chase after, to catch up to. Chase and, and like pepper somebody, like like if yep. they have food and you're going to become their, their salt and pepper, you're yep. just going to jump on That's top where we of saw it. that kakeru a lot. Exactly. Perfect. Hai. So let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Um. Oi. Mate. Uh, te shika ga sake bi. Oi kake yo. Toste. Nakama o yonda. Hi. Let's see if you remember what the yo toste tells us. Hi. Um. So the minion, the minion that just got you know, uh, that Khan just went under. So, so. He's, he he yelled out, "Hey, wait!" Um, and then he koi kake yo toshite. Uh, he toshite meaning he 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 did that thing. He tried. He attempted to to. Yes, he attempted to, to oi kake do. Yep. Oi kake. Um and then Nakama o Yonda he and then he calls his his peeps. His peeps he man. He called his backup. He's called his he called his his uh entourage. So, so. <laughs> to, to to block the way or something like that. Something like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um any guesses how this word might be read? Uh, hi, I've seen um, both parts before. This was from Hiroi as in yep. wide. Hiro? Hiro. This is from Ma, as in the space. Yep. Hiro Ma. Hiro Ma. So this is a, a wide hall. space. Yep, a wide space. Normally used to describe a room. So some kind of room that's very wide. Hiro Ma. Um, Hiro Ma. Do you remember how this word was read? Um, we say this was to grab something, right? Good guess. That's a different word. To tukamu is to grab. This is nuke. That's it. Um, so last time I didn't really tell you what nuke dasu meant correctly. Um, I told you it meant to begin to escape, but that's actually that's nuke. Uh, I told you it was to go through something. Um, that's just nuke do. The dasu really weirdly enough actually adds a sneaky meaning to this word. Which it doesn't normally do. Um, that's not common for Dasa. But that's what it's doing here. So it means to the sneak out without being identified, basically. To sneak the sneak out rather than just to exit, to go out, Hi. to go through. So nu nukeru by itself is to go through. Yes. And here it's it's compound itself with Dasu, meaning to sneak out. Yes. Okay. Can you read this for me? Teshika 
or te, no, she got, um, tega, tega wa doa o nuketa. Hi. The minion sneak, uh, not sneak, the minion went through the door. Perfect. In nuketa. Yep, so that's the difference. So he's just going through the door versus sneaking through the door. Okay. Do you know what mezasa means? Me is the eye. Zasu is to have a a, a point to point hai hai. at. Mezasu. So it's a line of sight, which is like the your vision. Close, close. Your gaze. It, your 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 idea was good, but actually this sasu is the point. But the idea is that you're pointing with your eyes because it's your goal. Your goal. Oh, so this mezasu is, a, is where oh, you're aiming. Oh, this is still a for. verb. Aiming for. To aim, yep. mezasu Hi. is to aim. Yep. Um. So, can you read this for me? Te ga wa dorobo no nuketa doa o mezashita. Hi. The the minion aims at the door, which uh the thief had went through perfect and let's go read the line from the book meza su meza su doro nukeru to dare mo inai hiroma ni data 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 from this Hi. um so we here we have mezasu modifying doa so the door that was being aimed at yep o nukeru to uh i went through that door and immediately afterward dare mo inai no one, right? Yep. Nobody. Hiroma ni deta. At the Y space, came out. Yeah, came out. Hiroma is a wide spaced room, so some kind of large room where there's no one inside of it. Daremo inai, um, Hiroma. So this could be any kind of large room. It could be a ballroom, could be a gym, anything like that. The room, so it's some kind of room that is wide, um, and then there's no one in it. So I, I appeared in that room when I I went through the door I was aiming for. Um, what does kato hinete mean? Kato oni hinete is twist your shoulder, kind of. Nice, thing. perfect. And do you remember this kanji? You actually haven't this seen jo. this yet. Yeah, Joe is right And then here. this one Next is... Next one is new. This is kagi. Ka ka kagi. Kagi. So this one right here is key, and sometimes it does mean lock. But right now, it just means key. Hai. Kagi. And it's pronounced like kagi. Hai. What is missing from kagi? Kagi. Shinyu. The big walking kanji. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yes. I believe you. Dude. Hi. How would you read the sentence? I mean, well, it's kind of sentence. Um, kagi ga kakaru. Yes. So, kagi ga kakaru. I put on, I put on the key, which means I, either I close it or I locked it i don't yep. forget which one in this it case is. it means you locked it to lock i locked it yep so the yes. put on the key means to lock it perfect this is back to the point where i was saying i, uh, I was kind of tangent into that story of I the know, lock but... being just a big wooden beam of of uh wood and you kakaru meaning you put on you kakaru is you put something on top of another thing uh -huh. so you put this thing on and it locks the door yep Perfect. And this is a verb. Um, can you read this for me? Doa wa kagi ga kakata. 
I locked the door. But if the door was locked. No, 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 no. The door was locked. I'm sorry. I wonder door if that's my locked. fault. I'm, now I'm suspicious of my grammar there. So you know what told you to means? This is to close. Shimeru also means to close. Both of these take o for closing things. The difference is that told you to, you're closing something into a condition where you cannot use it anymore. Like you're closing your eyes or you close an umbrella. So you close it and then suddenly it's not usable for for its main mm. purpose if it's closed. So shimeru is used if you're just closing in general. So like you close a door. A door is still doing its purpose as a door, whether or not it's open or closed. So that that's kind of um the idea. So told you to do it about that. That that is incredible for a language to make this minute of a distinction. It, it's it's quite something to me. Yeah. Uh, de <laughs> definitely some weird distinctions <laughs> goes on in language making. Okay. Wow. So right now is our halfway point. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll see you in two seconds. <laughs>